Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup. So if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And today I am going to do a... I think it's going to be two looks one palette, maybe three looks one palette. I'm not sure yet. Um, I will see how many looks I will do with this, but I'm at least doing two looks. It might be free. So the palette I'm going to do it with is the Serenity palette from Menadri. That is a collab with my friend Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. And the palette looks like this. So I think we just dig into this and I will do a review in the end of this video. So it might be after two looks or after three looks. We will see. But I will just hop into this so I will stop talking, pry my eyes and get started. For the first look I want to do a purple, pink and yellow eye because I really want to use this shimmery yellow and I will use this pink one and this purple one as well. I will start with the pink one in my crease and maybe go in with this dark one. I will go with the purple in my crease and maybe on my lid. I haven't decided yet. I will have to wait and see how to look on my eye and then I think I will do a half cut, cut crease. I was thinking if I should do or maybe I should do a halo eye. Maybe I should do that instead. Do you know what? Do I want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. I will start at least with the pink one in my crease and we will see where I go from there. And do you see that I have a yellow shirt on today? If you have been watching me, <laughs> you have seen that I usually only wear makeup, makeup, wear black. Because 98% of my wardrobe is black, but I actually bought this one second hand. And I think I like it. It's with some sheeps on it. It's black flowers and white sheeps and I actually think I like it. It just feels a little bit strange to not have a black shirt on but I like yellow and I do really like this pink one. This is a really pigmented nice pink shade. And I'm actually changing, changing my mind. I'm going to do a halo eye. So I'm taking this purple one and then I'm taking this yellow shimmer because I love to do purple and yellow, purple or gold halo eyes. So I will take this purple. I really hope that this will look good. So I take it out here because I haven't swatched these next to each other. My first plan was to do yeah, a half cut, cre half cut crease because I really think that pink and yellow are a good combo but I did a half cut crease in my first impression so I'm not doing it today. I usually don't do a crease color when I'm doing a halo eye but yeah. It wasn't my plan when I started. So I'm just going to smudge this out a little bit. I think that this can be good. Maybe I can't say that because I haven't used the other one. But so far, so good. And I don't know if I want to cut my crease or cut the halo. How can it be so hard for me? I'm doing a halo eye. I don't know if I will cut the halo or not, but I think I will try without cutting it and just see how much of the yellow shimmer my brush pick up. I really do like this combo, so I hope it will look good with this yellow one. And on the brush it looks really, really, really pigmented, so I will see how it will... Okay, I don't do not need a glitter primer for this. This looks amazing, this color. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I 
will I don't know because it's kind of flaky but still not super flaky I don't know how to describe it but I will go over the purple a little bit then I will go back to the purple and tap it off so I don't want too much and then blend it on top of the yellow shimmer then I go back to the brush where I took the yellow and nothing more on it just doing like this do I love this halo? yeah I think I do I am in love with this halo eye. I will just go in with a clean fluffier brush and just take it in my crease and blend everything together. So I will take away the fallout, fix my base and my brows and everything so I will be done with the first look and so far I love it, I don't think I can fuck it up when I do my lower lash. I am going to be worried about myself if I fuck it up now, but I, I'm i loving this look. This purple and this yellow shimmer, amazing together. So this is the finished first look. For my watch line I used Boots from Colourpop and on my lips I took first a liquid lipstick from Lethal in Departure and then I took a kind of like a lip gloss, it's a lucid lip from Kaleidos in Mesmerize and now I don't know where to put all the things and I do really love this eye, I love the purple and the yellow shimmer together I think they look amazing I don't know if I would have planned a halo eye from the beginning, I don't think I would have taken the pink one in my crease but now I did I actually think it looks really good because it's a nicer transition and I also think that the pink and the shimmery yellow goes really good together. So I really like this look. I used three shades so I did use the pink, the matte purple and the yellow shimmer. and. The yellow shimmer is amazing. It is so like opaque and really easy to work with. Even though it's opaque, it was kind of flaky, but it's not like I didn't have flakes all over my face. I don't know. I really like the formula of it. And uh, yeah, I'm just super happy. And now I have some scar dots or something on my face. I I really do like it. I think it's a really good halo eye. So this is the first look and I think I actually want to do three looks. We will see, but at least coming one more look. So if you want to see that, just keep on watching. It's time for the second look with the Serenity palette and I think I will do a monochromatic green look today because I just want to play with these three green shades here. So I'm going to do that and um, just do like a super simple green eye just because I want to use these green shades and I want to have dark red lip too so we will see and I excuse I think you can hear my share so annoyed with it so I will start with this lighter one in my crease take this in my outer corner and then do a like half cut crease and take this one and we will see how this will look I guess it will look great because it's a monochromatic green eye. So I'll start with this lighter green in my crease. I think this might need a little bit of building up. I like this shade. It does need a little bit of a build up but it's nothing that is strange or unusual strange unusual I mean and I think it fades nicely up in my crease 
so it gets a little bit darker but now I have a little bit of pointer brush so it gets a little bit darker like right in my crease and I want that so this is a nice green acrylic I'm going to take it like in here in my inner corner Something like that. I think it looks really really good. So then I will go into the matte <laughs> darker green, this one. And we'll, I hope that this is really dark, I'm guessing. And now I have a cat hair on my brush. Cat hair is everywhere. I'm just going to take it out here. Got some fallouts. I like this shade as well. And this was like super opaque and easy to blend up in my crease together with the lighter green. So like that. Okay, so other than that I have quite a lot of fallouts on this eye and some of this eye, I don't mind the shade at all. I think it looks good. Okay, so for the last shade for my lid, I'm going in with this one, the shimmery green. It will be fun to see. Because I've used the orange shimmer, blue shimmer, and yellow shimmer, so we'll see how this is. The lid packs on good on the brush, so we will see how it looks on the eye. And this was a really good shimmer. I would say right now at least. So I'm going to take this a little bit up in my crease and on to the darker green matte shade. And I guess that this is like a look that a lot of people have done with this palette. But you know what? I actually don't care. <laughs> now I go in with the darker matte green and just tap it over to get a nice blend and that was just so so easy I think so far maybe this green one is my favorite shimmer in this palette okay I I just love it I just can see like the finished look with a super dark red lip to this I know it will look perfect so I will fix my base, take away the fallouts, try to choose a red lippy. I don't know how dark I will go. I don't, maybe not want to take like the darkest, darkest I have, but I think I will go gay, <laughs> go kind of dark red. We will see. I think I know which one I will take. So I will fix that and then I come back with the second look. I did go with a kind of a bright red maybe for my waterline I took hot dang from NYX and on my lips I took Riptide from Lethal I really like this red one and do I love this look? yes I do I also popped the yellow shimmer this one in my inner corners and do I love to do these kinds of green looks with a red lip? Yes, I do. And do I love this look? Yes, I do. I think that this green shade is... It has some, like, gold specks to it. So, it looks really, really nice. And also, it blended together with this darker matte green. Amazing. So, I, I really like this look. I <laughs> couldn't, like, don't do this look with this palette. Because I really, really wanted it. So I think for the third look, I think it's three shades that I haven't used yet. So it's this shimmer, this... Lavender, baby blue, kinda, and this one. So I think I will use them in the last look and maybe some of the other but then I have used all the shades and I think I can do a better like review of the palettes when I've used all the shades so if you want to see the third and last look just keep on watching 
it's time for the third look with the Serenity palette and I have three colors that I haven't used yet so it is this one, this one and this one and I'm planning on using all of them in this look but I'm also thinking about taking maybe this one because I want some depth into the look. So I'm just going to start and I will start with this in my crease and then take the two shimmers on my lid. We'll see how this light lavender shade will look. Looks good. Needs to be lit up a little bit, but it's still like get a lot of pigment. You can really see the color of it. But it's just, it's so much kick up in the pan. But I really like how it looks on my eye. And I don't think it like loose. It still looks fun and bright even though I build it up. I think this is a good beginning. It's a good start to the look. Then I will go in with the first shimmer shade, so this one, and I will try to put this matte purple on top of this shimmer in the end, just to see if, how it will look. So I will start with this one, and on the brush it looks really good. I'll take it out here. Yeah, so this will just be a shimmer lid. I don't know if this was the best brush. It's a little bit of a flimsy brush, but it does work. And I don't know if I want if I should cut the crease. Because I guess this is more like maybe not the topper, but I don't know if it is like opaque this one as this one. Maybe I should just try to see like how it looks just on my eyeshadow base and if I don't like it I will just cut the crease but this one I think works I just think it's my brush that wasn't that good I think I should have taken a denser brush but it works so I will go in with this darker one, this lighter shimmer, the lightest one in this palette, and we will see how it will be. Okay, I, I want to cut this crease because I think this is more like, it would go amazing as topper shade, I guess. I'm guessing like if I just I'm trying to get out some glitter primer. If I just like pack it on, I think it might work, but I really want this intense, so I'm going just to cut the crease. So I'm taking my glitter primer, cutting it here, and I go over a little bit to the dark shimmer. And then we will see. This is more like what I wanted. So I'm just going to take the other the darker shimmer. Just fix the edge a little bit. I I like this. <laughs> I think this was I don't know if I didn't have these colors left. I actually don't know if I would have done them in this look if I'm going to be honest but now I'm really happy that this was like these colors that I haven't used and that I wanted to use. I'm just going in with I'm just going in with the matte shade that I had in my crease on a smaller blending brush and just really get it in here. So, before I'm going to cut this crease off 
cam so I think that I can finish off this eye first so I will go in with this this one the matte purple and I will try to put this over the shimmer out here Ooh. sometimes I really like to put down the shimmer first and then put a matte shade on top instead of doing the other way around I don't know why but just like how it looks and I really like how this looks I will just now I have so many brushes and one on the floor I'm just going in with darker shimmer and put it over or blend it together a little bit better with the matte purple and you know what I really do like this eye so I'm going to do the same to this eye fix my base and everything and then I come back and we will see the finished look and also I will talk about my feelings about the palette so a review of this palette now when I have used all the shades and I have done four looks with it so I feel kind of confident <laughs> to do a review on it then and also I used a lot of minority shadows so I will just fix this and then I come back this is the finished look and for my waterline I used Cry Baby from Colourpop and on my lips I took first I took two from Kaleidos. This one is Dune. It's one of their newest ones. And then I took a lip gloss that is Crystallize. And yeah, this is the finished third look. And I do really, really like this look. I don't know if, like, is, is, is purple being a thing for me? I don't know. But I like it. I like... Um, the matte purple on top of this shimmer and also when I cut the crease for the lighter shimmer I really like it so I think we just hop in to the review part so now I have used all the shades in this palette and I feel like it is the normal formula when it comes to Menardi's palettes it is pretty much kick up in the matte shades and I don't really care but if you are doing your base first and then your eyes just be like super careful so it doesn't fall too much the one thing I really like with the mattes like the one that I used today this one it is really like it needs some building up but the colors like stay and it looks really good and it's it was easy to blend out the same with this pink one and also this lighter green so I don't have any problems with the matte shades at all I think they are really good pretty much kick up but it's nothing that like bothers me and the shimmers I think they are good I think though this orange one and this one isn't as opaque as the other ones I want to use this palette more and I want to take the orange one and I want to cut either my crease or halo or something just to see how it will look because in my first impression look that I did I did spray this when I had it underneath my eyes and then it was so opaque and it was just super amazing. I did like it when I had it on my lid as well but sprayed an amazing shade. The other shimmers I think they are really really good especially this yellow one it was in my first look I did a halo and it was freaking amazing so I really like this one and yeah I think it is a good palette I have nothing to complain about I don't think so at least maybe I would want one darker shade as well but I don't think like it's nothing that I miss that much like you can deepen down with this purple or this blue one or this gray one or even this shimmery blue if you want to it's not impossible but I, I think it's a good palette and Annette is my friend so I know that like I want to like this palette because it's her palette and I'm being honest with that 
just to know but i think it is minodri's normal formula and i know that some people have a little bit of trouble problems when it comes to minodri's formula i don't it's not my favorite formula but i don't hate it i can work with it it just is a little bit tricky maybe with all the fallouts with the matte shades but i honestly don't care but i think overall it's a good palette i think it's a fun palette it is a unique palette and I think this is easy to do. Okay, how should I put this? <laughs> I play pretty much with makeup, or I play a lot with makeup and with colorful makeup. And I don't care about rules. I like mix everything that I want to mix. I I really don't care. But sometimes I don't know what for kind of look to do. And then I think this palette is also good for this. Like here I can I it is finished looks in this one, like the green one that I did that my that was my second look. Just use the three greens and you have a look. Use these two if you want to and you have a finished look, the blue ones and you have a finished look. So it is an easy palette to play with even though you haven't maybe got around that much with colors but i still think it is a good variety and about the kick up i don't know if you can see can you focus please like this one that i used today it is like a lot of dust from it on to the black one yeah frankly i don't care i don't care if the palette is a little bit dirty and I, I guess that is all for this video. I will play with this more. Maybe in a get red with me. I don't know if I will do like maybe palette bingo. I don't know. But I don't know if I want to do a like dedicated video to this one. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just do use it in uh, get red with me. I don't know. But I'm so happy that I finally have it. I'm so happy for you on it. It is such a fun palette. And I just love to support my friends and I love that my friends or small like influencers and smaller YouTubers are able to do these kinds of things. I think it's amazing and I've this is what I love about like the small beauty YouTube community that I'm in and also like with indie brands. I think it's so fun and I'm just so so happy that I got a hold of this palette. So yeah. That is all for this video. I really hope you liked it. I don't know which look is my favorite. I loved the halo eye because I love purple and yellow together. I love the second look because green and red lip. It's amazing. It's one of my favorites. And also I really do like this look even though this, not, this is not my favorite colors. But I think it is... And it is a really nice look. I really like how it turned out, but I don't think it's my favorite. I don't know which one is my favorite. Maybe the second one. But I love like one thing with each of the looks. So I really hope you like these free looks and don't forget to check out Annette. She is amazing and I guess that most of you that follows me follows her as well, but if you don't, check her out. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!